To create a xylem filter, cut a piece of branch from a gymnosperm tree. This could be pine, cedar or spruce or even a rare tree like ginkgo. Try to find branches that have a diameter of about 1 cm and are straight. Avoid cutting branches from non-green parts of the plant and those with visible colorations or fungal growth. After cutting the branch, keep it wet by storing it in a bucket filled with water. This is important because drying causes the pores in the xylem to block. We only need a small section of the branch to create a filter. Draw 1 cm markings on the branch using a sharpie and cut the branch into smaller sections. The cutting can be done using a pruner or a vertical bandsaw. Next, peel off the bark by hand and voila, this is your filter. Store the filter in water to prevent drying. You could use a variety of test solutions to check if the filter can remove contaminants. A. You can use a dilute solution of yogurt. Yogurt contains different kinds of bacteria in addition to fat globules and protein molecules. C. You could also dissolve probiotic pills in water to create a test solution containing bacteria. Observe the test solution under a microscope to see if it has bacterial or other microbial contaminants. Benchtop microscopes or foldoscopes could be used for studying the test solution. To test the filter, take it out of water and insert it into a rubber tube. Seat the filter in place using hose clamps to prevent leakage from the sides. If need be, you could also use epoxy to seal the gap between the filter and the tube. Add about 5 ml of the test solution to the tube and pressurize it through the filter. The pressure could be provided by bicycle pumps or by gas cylinders if they are available. Gravitational pressure could also be used, although a head of about 1 meter might be required to generate sufficient flow rates. Collect the filtrate in a clean container and observe it under a microscope. Now compare this with the test solution to check if the filter has removed contaminants.